Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tara too. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Friday, May 24th, 2023. Well, let's talk about the most recent thing we're supposed to be alarmed and afraid of, okay? And this is in the health domain. Newspapers across mainstream media are telling us that there is a fungal malady that is sweeping the nation. <laughs> and I decided to see how big a sweep it was doing. <laughs> so let me show you some information and let's take the alarmist words out of the headlines and take a look at a very real uh, fungal malady called Candida auris, which was uh, first identified in Japan in 2009. And if I recall from my reading for this video correctly, all right, now I want to, and I'll explain why I'm kind of finding it humorous, and you may too. Anytime we get those alarmist headlines sweeping, you know, what have you, I, I start to laugh. Okay, and I think that's a very healthy response to have when you can tell that they are fear mongering. So let me share some information, and as always, this will be available as a Facebook link on the description for the video, okay? All right. Okay, well, first of all, just a, a New Zealand news site seemed to have a pretty good um, handle on telling people the uh, dangerous bug that's been spreading across the US could eventually affect New Zealand. All right. Now, down here, this started to uh, get my hinky meter going. Okay, this slideshow starts off with this one. Is this The Last of Us, which was a movie put out in the last year about a deadly fungal pandemic type of situation, okay? So fiction movie, but we know they have to tell us what they're going to do, right? It goes on to have some fairly decent information. The Candida auris is usually harmless for healthy people. It spreads easily and can affect wounds, ears, and the bloodstream. Talks about the symptoms, which can be misidentified because fever and chills are often the two main symptoms with it. And it, just a reassurance, no, it's not set to end society like the fungal infection in that movie. And they talk about how, while New Zealand may have to brace itself to have that fungus eventually end up in their country, the people most at risk are in um, intensive medical settings with big medical issues and compromised immune systems. And those people typically don't travel. I mean, that makes sense, right? Okay. Well, here's where I've got some information for you. First of all, if you go to my first comment here, they have some natural remedies available. Now, the first, the, the cover page for that, this is my first time going to this site, and I'm not going to say it by name in case YouTube doesn't like it. But if you drop, do the scroll down on the maladies that they have um, listed for uh, treatments, you don't have to shop there to find what they're recommending for treatments, just so you know, or I wouldn't recommend it, okay? I try not to make you spend money, okay? And if you click on this link and you will get to a good Google, so YouTube will like this, Google Scholar compilation of how essential oils and um, certain um, natural remedies have been effective in dealing with um, fungal activity and, and problems, okay? Then, <laughs> I did a copy and paste. This is from the CDC, okay? And it talked about how in 2020, there were 1,471 cases. And uh, further, I found information that showed in 2022, there were 2,377 cases. And I thought, clinical cases. And I thought, well, there's a lot of people in the US. So I looked up to see what our population was in the US. We have over 337 million. So then I went to an online calculator and I divided 
the 337 million, here's where I'm starting to laugh, into 2,377 cases that the CDC acknowledges for the last, this is the CDC data here, okay? For the 2,377 clinical cases. Okay, so then I went to an online calculator to see what the percentage chance you have and if you should really worry about it. I can't even read this number this small, and I'm a former teacher. Granted, I wasn't a math teacher other than, you know, just the basics because I was an elementary teacher. But your chance of getting a clinical case of this fungus is 0 0.0000070419001006%. So I was going, okay, that's a tenth of a percent, that's a hundred, that's a thousand. It's so far down below about one thousand of one percent. I couldn't even read the number. Okay, so I'm showing you some data. I'm showing you some real math that you can do. This is real data. Here are some sources if you do have concern, because apparently we're going to be hearing a lot about candida auris. And they may be trying to frame it, they being, you know, the uh, established um, medical providers. They may be trying to uh, create some emotions. They may be trying to create some, some concerns. But maybe if you don't have to be in a highly intensive medical setting, if you don't have a severely compromised immune system, that just some good precautions like can help you get through and, and do it. And just remember too, I mean, I'm not downplaying this, I'm just trying to be realistic, but the candida fungus is also the same one that happens or is related to the one that happens for childhood thrush, okay? Which isn't fun, but it's treatable. Okay, now this one, if it gets in your bloodstream, apparently is a concern. It would have to do so through an open wound. Um, Anyway, do your research. Okay, don't just read the headlines. Do a little bit of research like I did. I spent an hour on this. You can spend 10 minutes looking at the things I have and kind of decide what your concern level should be, okay, for you and your loved ones or those you care about. But the question I'd like to pose to the universe today relates to this. So my question or my curiosity is, is I would like the universe to let us know if there has been human manipulation of this fungus to um, weaponize it or supersize it. And if there's other information or insights the universe wants us to know. Regardless, again, of what we get for this read, remember, okay? Take the alarmist words out of headlines, do a little bit of research and decide what your concern level should be. We wanna be aware of events. We wanna be observant of them, but we don't wanna get caught up in them, especially not emotionally. We have better things to spend our emotional energy on, don't we? Okay, so let's see what the cards have to say about was this, has this fungus been human manipulated or supplemented to supersize it or make it more concerning? And if there's information or insights the universe wants to share, let's see. Okay, and since there's powers in thirties for the third time, has there been human manipulation or shenanigans to supersize this fungus, make it more easily spreadable, what have you? Or is it, uh, what insights and information does the universe have for us? I personally hope they're just si simply supersizing the headlines and it hasn't been manipulated with, but I want to find out. So we're going to ask. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. More cups, three cups. They are playing on our emotions. Cups are emotions. <laughs> three of, pardon me, four of pentacles. 
and five of wands. Okay, what I'm going to do is share with you the insights I'm getting from the spread as it stands now. And then we'll talk about the elements in the cards that support that, the statements I'm going to make. I am seeing here that the, um, yes, there was manipulation for this fungus. It has been played with, okay? They are hoping it's a money-making opportunity. Um, they're going to be, they being established medical um, companies, providers, you can put the big names by the uh, things I'm saying, okay? Um, and uh, I don't see that it's quite the success that they wanted. And in part, that's going to be from people like you and I that look at the actual numbers and keep our reactions and emotions um, in check because we help create the reality we live in. And they're trying to have a fear-based one. And if we have one based on logic, reason, and um, little due diligence, you know, doing our homework, we're better off for it. Okay, now here are the elements of the cards that led me to make those statements. First of all, our question was indicated by the Eight of Cups. One of the main meanings of this uh, card is often a uh, looking for meaning. And we were asking for meaning. We were asking, had this fungus been, um, has it been toyed with, manipulated to be more deadly than it would be in uh, occurring naturally. We are getting a yes on that, okay? And uh, the three of wands though, is our little uh, clarifier for that. Often uh, talking about looking at things in a new way, a clear path is ahead of you. So treatments and uh, um, clear information are still available about this. And that's good. I mean, I don't know if they start uh, suppressing natural remedies like they did with the pandemic. I don't know how long that, like that Google page I shared with you is going to be up there. So you might want to uh, bookmark that and uh, or file it away. Okay. Now, in the recent past, we had the Knight of Cups. He's he's not a white hat, even though he seems to be wearing one. He's a uh, tricky, and he's often about fraud. So that was the card that really told me, yes, in the past, this has been played with and toyed with, okay? Now, the Page of Cups is the current situation, which is kind of reassuring because he is, even though he's still in the Cups family, his meaning is often about a pleasant surprise. So the pleasant surprise for us is going to be that this is not as alarming as they're hoping it will be. I mean, when was the last time you guys worried about monkeypox, right? That was supposed to be something else we were worried about that we might need to lock down over, right? Okay, this may be the same way. Now, again, another manipulation of substances cards with this. Now, this can be a celebration card, don't get me wrong, but in a political read, especially about anything dealing with um, remedies or cures that can be added to your system. I have to be careful how I word things. This can often show up. This is often a product card too. Okay, so it's telling us, yes, this was a product that was derived, okay? Now, the four of pentacles is our insights about that too. I like that because it's not, that's about, uh, this card talks about being careful with your resources kind of miserly. So while they had great hopes for it, <laughs> They're not going to realize nearly the profit. And even if they tell us that they're working hard to get it, you know what, a jab out that will help with this. Um, I think thinking people are going to be able to see through it. Okay. And then we have uh, a card of some not long lasting strife about this. So it is going to be in the news. It is going to be something they try to raise public concern about and uh, cool heads need to prevail because this news cycle isn't going to last very long. They're going to see that it's not the money maker and the fear um, generator that they're hoping for. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords showing up for a little added information. And Queen of Swords is uh, a card of objectivity. And again, the cards are telling us, use our intellect, I have clear thinking about this, what to be concerned about. I granted, if I had a young child who was in the hospital with a serious uh, medical issue, I would be concerned and I would be making sure that uh, 
protocols were being observed by anybody coming in or out of that room um, to uh, for hand washing and uh, anything that would help keep you know my little one safe. Hierophant, again, showing us who manipulated. Okay, it's a deep state manipulated item. We know that. Anything dealing with big pharma and such is going to be. Chariot showing up here, another major arcana, telling us even though the deep state was uh, instrumental in trying to get this to be the next uh, pandemic of the month, <laughs> white hats are kind of on it. And this is our young. Energy from the uh, emperor, often thought of as the younger version of the emperor. And uh, yeah, he can, uh, he doesn't back down from a challenge. And he's, uh, he often shows up when there's a move going on. So we're going to move, I, I think we're going to move away from the fear response and into a more measured and logical response to information we get about this, like I said, you know, um, malady of the month. The Ace of Cups, final card, very reassuring card, okay? And it's, a, again, a hard yes, that yes, this was manipulated, but it's a reassuring one. That if there's, a, uh, there's a potential here that for us that it's not going to be nearly what had been hoped for, okay? Um, this is just a beautiful card. And uh, yeah, that emotionally, what they're trying to do is manipulate us emotionally into accepting treatments or giving up some more freedoms or things that we currently just kind of have without maybe itemizing them and appreciating them. We're not going to do it. We're not falling for it. So let's recap. The cards were asked if this uh, fungus candida oris had been manipulated by humans to kind of supersize it or make it more volatile or more easily spread. We definitely got a hard yes on that, absolutely. But we also got some information from the cards that um, it's not going to be the success that it's hoped for. It's not going to be the catalyst for people agreeing to um, have their freedom of movement um, hindered again, you know what I'm saying? And uh, or rush out to get the first available supposed treatment of it. And then again, if you go back to my Facebook post, you can see that there are some natural remedies that have already been found to work on it. And uh, maybe not in the bloodstream, but for those of us walking around that may have some contact or issues with it. And again, look at the math. There is so much, so far below 1% of a chance of coming in contact with it and coming up with a clinical case of it that I couldn't even read the number. <laughs> so, you know, be realistic. Don't be alarmed, okay? And uh, we're gonna laugh at the fear mongering because we don't buy into it anymore, are we? <laughs> Do we? I love it, I love it. There are things to be concerned about. And as I said, if I had a loved one with a severely compromised immune system, I'd want this information. I would want to, my concern level would be different than someone walking around who uh, has avoided some of the traditional um, medical things that have been pushed on them and is just leading their life and uh, staying grounded and uh, being thankful and finding some joy in a world where we're supposed to fear anything and everything and not have time for joy and not have time for love and not have time for kindness. And those are some of the most important things to be focusing on, not the headlines. So laugh at the alarmist words, <laughs> taking information, observe without absorbing. We can do this folks, we've got this. And we'll keep stymieing the mainstream because their tactics are crumbling and they're not creative. I love it, I love it. Okay, until next time, I thank you for your time. I don't take it for granted and I hope you have a fabulous weekend and enjoy the best of everything. I may be here tomorrow, I may not. It's going to be my birthday. And uh, if my daughter wants to do something, we'll do it. If not, I may find a topic to come back on. And next time you see me, I'll be a year older, officially. Love and light.